Good afternoon. It is Wednesday, November 4th. Skipped yesterday. Yeah. Um, today, uh, I, of course, I'm a full day at work. Um, I have been uh, on my breaks going through and um, coming up with names for the Wind Waker episodes. Um, it's kind of been working on that because. Uh, I, I got those all uploaded uh, last night and uh, earlier today, so they're all up. I just need to get them all metadata and scheduled, and then I can forget about it. Move beyond the game, figure out what's ahead. Um, and I've been needing, I have a few things on my to-do list that I mentioned to, you know, you know, mom's always trying to help. And she, you know, there's things stressing me out. Um, and there's a few of them that she was like, you know, I can just do that. Because I needed to do things like oil change and safety admissions. I don't even just get a car wash. So my car's been looking grungy. <laughs> um, and she's like, you know what? She she had today free. And she's like, so she got it all scheduled. She came in the middle of my work day, grabbed my key, and went and handled that. So I'm waiting on her to bring the car back. And I got some mail, some fun mail at her house, so she'll be bringing that too when she comes by with it. Uh, I think she said when I talked to her right after work that uh, they they finished what needed to be done. I think there was some repair or something. I don't know. Like whatever, do what needs to be done. I gotta have the car. Uh, <laughs> and um, but so she was gonna get it washed and head over, so just kind of waiting for that. So it sounds like it cost me like 400 bucks for inspection, windshield wipers, and brakes on front and back. But that's, uh, brakes are an important thing. Um, and mom bought my, brought my mail. Very large and heavy box. It was expensive, so I'm glad. I'm talking to mom that $400 also included getting an oil change, so, I mean, you know, it's not cheap, but I got it, and the car's basically good for now, so that's good. Now this is, as I said, a very large and heavy box. Uh, <laughs> it's like, those are one-inch squares. <laughs> like that. I'm gonna open that. And so I picked up the Savage Gorge and the Smuggler's Cove sets, but was painted when they um, had a real light restock. Um, week or so ago, they um, came available, and I'm not sure if they ever will again. You know, the Dorm Forge is definitely at the point where like some of their higher end sets, they're like, we're not likely to ever restock any of those. We'll You'll be able to get all the pieces, all the parts, but they might just, you know, you might have to buy them in different configurations, a bunch of smaller sets, rather than one big set. And those were two that were, like, water-based and, uh, you, know, ter and you know, water terrain trays with uh, negative space space, which I really enjoy. Um, and I'd basically set aside some money and thinking I'm going to get the Wilderness, the Dread Hollow Forest, when it becomes available. And I talked to my, my buddies and my game group, and I was like, you know, I was like, let's ask them. Would you rather me have more caves or more wilderness? And they kind of said caves, and I'm like, well, then I might as well get caves. So that's, those are giant boxes. That's exciting. And as I've been continuing to schedule various Zelda videos, I have this year scheduled, which that was, I guess, my immediate goal. So I've gotten through that at least. And I made uh, frozen pizza, the last one I have currently, but it was quick, and I didn't have to be in the kitchen a lot, and I'm watching the On the Anvil stream from Dwarven Forge and enjoying that, so it was something I could make while watching this. He's got stuff brewing. And that was fun, watching On the Anvil, Dwarven Forge's live stream again this week talking about uh, survey they're going to be sending out sort of 
pretty much trying to get information for the next Kickstarter. Well, answer one, please wait a little bit so I can save up some more money. <laughs> uh, but it is fun. These will be fun to get into. And I'm glad they're here and they're safe and I have them, but it'll be... Like, I might get to opening one of them this weekend, maybe. Assuming I choose to do them as, like, one box as a single unboxing, which will be a big unboxing, of course. Those are big boxes. Um... Assuming I do them as single unboxings, they're gonna take a while to film. There are lots in there. And I don't think either of those will come out this year. Those will be content for next year. Because I think this year is all but, you know, done. And I know what, I have basically one more video to make for this year. And I know what I want that video to be. And time will tell if I can, if I can succeed at that. I'll just show my book to mom. That's fun. I'll put it back in there. Keep it safe. I did finish looking through and queer it for basically saying, yes, this is good. But now i got to wait on um, drive through RPG for them to actually activate it. I'm sure I'll let you know once it is. But yeah. Fun day. Got some Dorm Forge. And also, well, it may, the whole time, you know, where I work all day and all that. But because mom came and got my keys and did the work with my car, well, yeah, it cost me like 400 bucks. And that sucks. I'd rather spend the money now than find out I need brakes when I'm having trouble. Um, and we are heading towards winter, so better to have good working brakes now. And that also took care of the oil change and the inspections. And that. It's like it just got stuff done. It knocked off several things on my to-do list. Which that alone will help reduce stress. Uh, crossed off and, and added so many things to that list. I'm soon going to have to, you know, make a new list. <laughs> Anyways. I'm going to relax for the rest of the evening. Thank you for joining me and join me as my journey continues. Bye.